Welcome to the Rose Studio at Lincoln Center. I'm here with my friend, cellist Adam Graboy, sitting back there on the stage, and we're going to talk about bow speed. And I want to show you, uh, in a scientific way, what the effect of bow speed is on volume, uh, especially at a distance. And uh, on the right of your screen here, you see this gadget is a sound level meter. It's a very simple device that measures, uh, I guess, the air pressure that's produced by the instrument in the room. And it will show exactly how loud the cello is playing uh, according to what speed Adam is using on the bow. So I'm going to ask Adam to start by using uh, a slow bow, uh, either half the bow or portion of the bow. And in order to time it, I'm going to put the metronome on so that he has a, a beat to play off of. And you'll see, if you watch the meter, what effect this has on the sound level. Okay, so you see Adam was using roughly about half the bow. Now, Adam, what happens if you increase that to, to using the whole bow? that the needle jumps way to the right, which means he's making a lot more sound. Um, the pressure on the string also affects that, but that's uh, in another talk. But as you can see, using more bow makes more sound. It's always a good idea, and you should probably always be using more bow.